My name is Michal Knapkiewicz, yeah. um, and I am a penetration testing manager at Advanced Security Center at EY. So my presentation today was about breaking out of restricted Unix shells, mm -hmm. um, basically just to show the basic steps and methodology of how um, an attacker or a, um, a penetration tester could break out from the restricted Unix environments um, that they may encounter during the assessment. So a typical day at work, um, it's a bit of everything actually. I do quite a lot of um, uh, report review and providing a bit of a subject matter expertise. So, you know, assisting our um, more junior testers in, in doing the assessments, but I also am responsible for quite a lot of um, technical work around red teaming and um, other bit more complex assessments. Um, so the best part is probably playing with all the different technologies and understanding different businesses uh, and working with a variety of different clients because uh, you get to, um, you know, experience a lot of different industries and, and how things are done in uh, different parts of the businesses, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, so I ended up in security industry because I always had a passion and a drive for security. So. Um, I'm a bit of a geek in nature, so I was always uh, interested in, in IT side of things, but security is this kind of thing which always uh, really fascinated me, so um, I kind of pursued that way. Uh, so there's quite a lot of resources that people could use to stay up to date. Um, there's a lot of podcasts um, that they, they could listen to to stay up to date. Um, Risky Business is probably one of, uh, off the top of my head I could recommend. Uh, but there's quite a lot more. Um, obviously, staying up to date with with the news on you know different social media services like Twitter is pretty good for you know understanding new um, the threats or the new uh, exploit methods, uh, depending who you follow, I guess. Um, uh, and doing quite a lot of hands-on you know challenges like capture the flags or some other competitions because it's always the best way you learn while doing things. So I'll probably recommend that. If you're interested in entering cybersecurity space, I would probably say do a bit of a research first to understand what parts um, sound interesting to you, because cybersecurity is a massive space. You have everything from penetration testing to incident response to um, architecture and a bunch of other domains. So um, first, probably just understand what's, what's available out there. And um, if there's something sounds interesting to you, just probably focus on that. Um, and uh, But the best way is probably just just you know, getting your hands dirty and just actually doing things. So as I mentioned before, participating in Capture the Flags competitions or doing some challenges that are freely available online. Um, if you want to pursue those kind of um, uh, areas, um, that's, it's, it's a good starting point. And a lot of self-learning. Um, basically, security is, is constantly changing and the bar is moving constantly. So you have to stay up to date, but at the same time, you have to learn new things. So you have to be good at picking up new skills um, and not being afraid of, of researching things and, and really drilling into detail. There's not a speci one specific person that would be a my role model. Uh, I tend to follow a lot of people uh, on Twitter or so, and there's a lot of guys that I kind of look up to that develop certain tools and methodologies in, in the space, but I can't really pick up one, but there's, there's a lot of very impressive people in the industry.